Our research looks at the cooperative model. Why co-ops? Well, co-ops employ 250 million people the world over. They have generated in the last year 2.2 trillion US dollars. And co-ops is an excellent way to drive uh, citizen empowerment, especially that of women, to enhance the quality of life of the majority of the population. And it's an excellent way to share wealth in an equitable manner. I'm Joey Alkuri, and I'm an assistant researcher at the Interdisciplinary Research Group on Sustainability here at HEC Montréal, and I undertook this research project with Professor Luciano Barin Cruz. So, we wanted to look at Développement International des Jardins and the way that they have developed co-ops in the last four decades on five continents, reaching more than nine million members, developing 3,000 outlets, and generating in the last year $5.6 billion. So, what has our research taught us? Well, it has taught us that Développement International des Jardins is an excellent organization in working with governments the world over. So they have great political skills in the way they develop the legal framework to establish co-ops in a multitude of contexts. The other thing is they have great funding agility rather than just relying on external donors, they ensure that as they develop their co-ops, these co-ops become self-sustainable financially and can really generate their own revenues. At the same time, while it's a financial cooperative, it has not solely focused on the financial sector. It has developed co-ops in the agricultural sector, in the housing sector and in the educational sector. So really touching the lives of people the world over on all the basic needs that any individual requires to live a life of dignity and a life of quality. The other thing is, Développement International des Jardins relies in an excellent manner on the Desjardins legacy in recruiting experts and really tapping into the resources that Desjardins has developed here in Canada and Quebec for the last century in the way they have developed the co-ops locally. Our research also looked at the managers of Développement International des Jardins. What kind of skills do they have that has enabled them to do this excellent work that they've done throughout the world? Well, first of all, as we mentioned, great political skills to work with governments, great partnering skills to work with different stakeholders, great technical skills derived from their local Canadian experience at Desjardins, and last but not least, great knowledge skills in the way that they capture their experiences, the learnings, and how they integrate them within the organization to share them across their network. So, why is our research interesting? Because first of all, it's gonna, it helps Développement International Desjardins to crystallize and to reflect critically on their experience to better understand what they've done so that they can do the same thing but in a more optimum way and to really use this strategically. The second thing is understanding how a best in class co-op such as Desjardins uh, has been able to develop the model throughout the world is a great way for anyone involved in the development of co-ops to really reapply these learnings and to, uh, to learn from the best. Last but not least, as Canadians and Quebecers, we need to be aware of this kind of work that is not always uh, known and be proud of the kind of values that DID has generated when it comes to the kind of humanity that we want to be part of as Canadians and the kind of uh, sustainable world that we want to contribute to.